Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we will study about bottom-up parsing. So what is this uh, bottom-up parsing? The bottom-up parsing can be defined as an attempt to reduce the input string to the start symbol of a grammar by tracing out the rightmost derivation of input string in reverse. So what happens in bottom-up parsing? In bottom-up parsing, we trace out the rightmost derivation of the given input string in reverse. <coughs> so how we perform this bottom-up parsing? So to understand uh, how this uh, bottom-up parsing is performed, it means uh, how we trace out the rightmost derivation of the given input string in reverse, we must be familiar with this term, handle of the right sentential form. Right. So what is the handle of the right sentential form? The handle of a right sentential form is the substring of the given input string that matches the right side of the production whose reduction to the non-terminal on the left side of the production represents one step along the reverse of a rightmost derivation. It will be more clear after this example. Now consider this grammar. It has production rules as derives AB, A derives AA and A derives A, B derives B. Now see the rightmost derivation of this string A, A, B. <coughs> this is the string of terminals. Now we have to consider its rightmost derivation, right? So how we perform the rightmost derivation of uh, this string of terminals A, A, B. So see first the start symbol S, right? It will derives A, B. Now see this uh, production rule S derives A, B, right? So we will apply this production rule. We will get S derives A, B. Now we have this string a b now see the rightmost non-terminal in this string the rightmost non-terminal in this string is b so here we will apply this production rule b derives b so what happens this b will be replaced by this terminal b right so we will get this string a b now in this string you can see the rightmost non-terminal right the rightmost non-terminal is this non-terminal a so here we will apply this production rule a derives a a right so this a will be replaced by a a then we will get this string a a b so in this <laughs> string what happens see the rightmost non-terminal the rightmost non-terminal is non-terminal a so here we will apply this production rule a derives a right so what happens when we apply this production rule a derives a this a will be replaced by a and we will get this string a a b <coughs> now see we have to perform the bottom up parsing of uh, this string a a b so what we need to do we need to trace out this rightmost derivation in reverse right we will start from here and we will move up to there to start symbol we have to trace out this rightmost derivation in reverse right so how we will do this so in this uh, procedure at every step we will have to find the handle of the right sentential form uh, so first you see in this string a a b consider this substring a this substring a it exists at the right side of this production rule a drives a so if i uh, reduce this substring a by the left side of this production rule that is non-terminal a right then what will happen this substring a will be replaced by the non-terminal A and I will get this string A, A, B, right? Now here you can see the rightmost derivation of A, A, B. This string A, A, B, right? This string A, A, B, it exists at one step before in the rightmost derivation of A, A, B, right? So if I reduce this string A by the left side of the production rule where this substring exists at the right side of the production rule right then i will get a string right which exists at the one step before in the rightmost derivation of the string a a b right so this substring a it is the handle of the right sentential form right actually we have to trace out the rightmost derivation in reverse right so at every step we will find out the handle of the right sentential form right now we have this string a a b right in this string you can see this substring a a right this is the handle of the right sentential form right now see this production rule a derives a a if we reduce this substring a a by the left side of this production rule that is 
non terminal a then a a it will be replaced by the non terminal a and we will get this string a b right so <coughs> you can see that this uh, string a b right it uh, exists at uh, one step before in the rightmost derivation of a a b right it this string a b it exists at the one step before in the rightmost derivation of this string a a b right so this substring a a it is the handle of the right sentential form right because if we reduce this substring by the left side of the production rule a drives a a where this substring appears at the right side of the production rule then we will get the string which exists at one step before in the rightmost derivation of this string right now we have this string a b now we have to find the handle of the right sentential form in this string a b now you can see this string a b right in this string a b see this substring b right now this substring b it appears at the right side of this production rule b derives b right if we reduce this substring by the left side of this production rule that is non terminal b then we will get this string ab right so here you can see ab it exists at one step before in the rightmost derivation of string ab right so this uh, substring b is the handle of the right sentential form in this string ab right so after that we have uh, this uh, string ab right now see this production rule as derives ab in this production rule this uh, string ab appears at the right side of the production rule right so if we reduce this uh, string uh, uh, by the left side of the production rule that is non terminal symbol s or start symbol s then we will get this symbol s right then we will get the string having only one non terminal symbol s right now you can see the bottom of parsing of uh, this string a a b so you can see here that it is the rightmost derivation of a string a a b in reverse 